So thank you very much for watching till now. And right now it's time for the moment of truth. If you're an entrepreneur out there, if you're, a, if you're an artist, but you don't have the capital, this is the interview for you. We have guys from the Thunder uh, Fund, a uh, crowdfunding platform, and uh, they're, they're here to share the story with us, Karibun Sana. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, who's going first? Maybe <laughs> the lady can go first. <laughs> uh, just look, uh, look at the camera straight into the eyes right there and uh, introduce yourself. Um, thank you so much for having mm -hmm. us. My name is Winter, Winter mm -hmm. Mudeo. I am the campaigns and community manager for Thunder Fund. Mm -hmm. I have a background in operations and projects mm -hmm. and a bit of a medical background. A bit of a medical yeah. background. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wish you could get into that. Uh, but time is not on our side. It's a whole so other interview. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, on to the next. Cheers. Uh -huh. Yeah, hi, everyone. Uh -huh. So, um, Matt, uh -huh. I first got into crowdfunding mm -hmm. at Kiva in San Francisco mm -hmm. a few years back. Uh, they've moved over $1.5 billion of microloans across the world. Mm -hmm. uh, something that fascinated me, it moved me to Kenya to work in microfinance, mm -hmm. and then later joining Mchanga, which I'm now the general manager of Mchanga, which is a social crowdfunding platform. Mm -hmm. And recently this year, we've launched Thunder Fund into Kenya, coming from uh, South Africa. All right. Wonderful. Kari Busana, welcome to High the Morning. She has a mic. Uh, introduce yourself. Your camera is uh, number three. All right. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. My name is Carol Mongura, mm -hmm. and I am uh, the MD and Creative Director of Cavero. Cavero mm -hmm. is a Kenyan fashion brand mm -hmm. that deals with women's apparel. Women's apparel. Yes. All right, so you're dressed in Cavero right now? Yes, the this pants is Cavero. are Cavero. You're looking good in Cavero. Thank you very much. So you're a beneficiary of the Thunder Fund? Yes, I All am. All right, yes. you'll be telling us more about that, uh, but we'll head straight into it. Uh, the general manager at uh, M. Changa. And uh, Thunder Fund, you? Also. The general manager. <laughs> All right, so how many hours do you have in a day again? <laughs> we manage. <laughs> you manage. Yeah. All, right. All right, so uh, what is crowdfunding? Crowdfunding is it's quite simple. It's bringing a project or a need mm -hmm. that has a, a financial requirement mm -hmm. and bringing it to a crowd of people who are willing to put money towards that need. Mm -hmm. So raising a large amount through a lot of people mm -hmm. rather than one institution. All right, mm -hmm. so what is the difference between crowdfunding and uh, maybe she can tell me this because the second word is, is Harambe. What is the difference between crowdfunding and Harambe? Well, essentially, uh -huh. it's the same thing. Uh -huh. It's just that crowdfunding is online. Is online. Yeah. yeah, and with Harambe, you're mostly reaching out to your family, your friends. Mm -hmm. But with crowdfunding, you get a chance to reach to a, a network larger than yours because mm -hmm. it's online. All right, so maybe yeah. you can help me translate Harambe for him. <laughs> 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 what is Harambe in English? <laughs> All right, we'll figure that out. So mm -hmm. it, uh, the, there's a very thin line between, between the two. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, so far in Kenya, uh, what is the reach like? Sorry? What is the reach like in Kenya? How many uh, people have you reached so far? We have been in South Africa since mm -hmm. 2014, mm -hmm. but we recently expanded into Kenya. Mm -hmm. We officially launched 27th of September. So we launched with 15 campaigns. Mm -hmm. We had a lot more registered that mm -hmm. are going to go live as we carry on. Mm -hmm. But we went live with 15 that mm -hmm. are doing great. We have very many um, categories represented. There's fashion, there's mm -hmm. events, there's social causes. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a huge, a wide range mm -hmm. of what you would not naturally go for in a Harambe. Mm -hmm. so it's just, it, it goes to show how crowdfunding is open to everyone. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. if, I, if I can change the question a bit, uh -huh. it's not about what's already here, it's mm -hmm. about why here now. Uh -huh. If we look at Mchanga for one, mm -hmm. over 500,000 mobile contributions. Mm -hmm. And if we look at social media uptake, Kenya is one of the strongest in Africa. Mm -hmm. If you look at payments, there's already digital platforms. Mm -hmm. If you look at e-commerce, it's already moved to Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So all the elements and of crowdfunding are there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's been successful in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of we're piloting in Kenya right now. Mm -hmm. We want it to expand and we want 2020 to be a big year. Mm -hmm. for, for the Kenyan creatives. All right, so do you have like, uh, do you have like particular people you're allowing uh, to, to, to the platform? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crowdfunding is for 
well, on Thunderfund, mm -hmm. it's for anyone with an idea mm -hmm. that is seeking support to grow it. Mm -hmm. Or an entrepreneur who already has a business or wants to scale up. Basically, we're here to support sustainable creative ventures. All right, yeah. sustainable creative ventures. Yeah. So I should not go into Thunderfund uh, th thinking I can raise money to go to college or something. Well, the main focus of Thunderfund is to create, like I said, cr uh, sustainable creative ventures. Mm -hmm. What we're used to, and I know you can tell, is uh, the Harambe, where we, yes. donate, uh -huh. we donate for social causes mm -hmm. and like weddings, funerals, for college. Mm -hmm. But right now, what we'd like to focus on is growing businesses and entrepreneurs. All right. Yeah. Let's talk to a business owner uh, that benefited f uh, that benefited from the Thunder Fund. How did you get to know about Thunder Fund first? So I was in a program that's um, a, a, like a booster program, mm -hmm. a fashion program called mm -hmm. Fashion Product Lab at Meta. Mm -hmm. um, and so what they they do is that they bring in different experts in the industry to talk to uh, the participants. And so Matt was invited. There's mm -hmm. a guy who was supposed to do the funding. Um, segment, mm -hmm. but he didn't show up. But I think that was God's doing, so mm -hmm. that we could meet Matt. Uh -huh. And so Matt did a, a presentation, like a 30-minute presentation, t talking about this platform that was launching in Kenya. And, mm -hmm. and for me, that moment, uh, I thought about the co uh, collection that I've been waiting to do for such a long time, mm -hmm. but have not accessed funds to do it because uh, doing a collection, a fashion collection, is very capital intensive. Mm -hmm. And as uh, we know, uh, entrepreneurs are not quite the favorite of banks or, mm -hmm. or in, um, institutions which lend yes, money. Because especially we when are you're considered, not any money. Yeah. yeah, we are considered very risky. Uh -huh. And so when he said that we can actually, he, they have this platform where you can leverage on your networks uh -huh. to raise capital. Like uh, I, I have people who know my journey as uh -huh. a fashion designer and have been following my journey. Probably they would be willing to um, take part in being part of this fashion story and fashion um, company. And so I, I started, uh, I registered mm -hmm. and started a project. In fact, on the day they were launching on 27th, Mm -hmm. I that's the day I finished my pro <laughs> my project because uh -huh. I, like I mentioned I was doing another program which mm -hmm. was also very intensive and so yeah and uh, I invited my friends I and my family I told them this is what I'm doing mm -hmm. and so far the project is the campaign is still going on I have seven more days to mm -hmm. go and it has been tremendous the the f the, the uptake and the response people are like yes I've been following your your journey and mm -hmm. here's my money. All right. uh, yeah, you go do what uh, what uh, you're aiming to do with the collection. So this can definitely work in this country. It, for me, I think it is the best gift to entrepreneurs and in especially in the creative. Uh, especially space. when banks consider us risky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So what is uh, what if what is uh, what are the steps to take uh, to to get to where she's got into? If I'm uh, an artist out there, I'd like to raise some funds. What do I do? What is the first step for me? Yeah. I think it, firstly, it's really important you you have your idea mm -hmm. very well crafted and mm -hmm. packaged. You can't just raise money for 10 different projects at once. You have to have mm -hmm. one project, one time period, one amount you have to have mm -hmm. so that you can articulate it mm -hmm. and so that it makes sense to who you are and what you're trying to do. It's not just about getting funds. It's about living your passion, mm -hmm. achieving your dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, we're living in a time when the creative industry is undervalued, mm -hmm. but it brings so much to the economy, mm -hmm. just like sports. It brings us together. Uh, Kenyans, seeing Kenyans being successful mm -hmm. rather than uh, focusing on our differences mm -hmm. and creativity ha at the heart of an economy has the chance to, to solve a lot of social issues. Mm -hmm. So we believe if the banks aren't going to invest in creatives, individuals can mm -hmm. and they will. And they can support you from Kenya, they can support you from the US or mm -hmm. anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. So we're just providing a platform to put two and two together mm -hmm. and hopefully raise some money for mm -hmm. the people who deserve it. Mm -hmm. All right, I get that. All right, so Thunderfund has a website. All right, so the first step is to go to the www.thunderfund.com. Yeah. All right, so uh, somebody who's watching us right now, what are some of the requirements? What are some of the things that you require from an artist before they can proceed to, to raise a capital? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first, you need to register. Mm -hmm. It's quite simple. It's mm -hmm. going to take a minute. Just your name, your email, mm -hmm. a password. 
then you need to have put a picture of mm -hmm. your campaign mm -hmm. uh, and tell your story. You'll tell right. your story in a video. So right. this picture is, is a profile picture? A picture that represents your project. Oh, if you're okay, doing fashion, okay, it could okay, be okay, okay, a picture okay, uh, of a model in your it's fashion. Not, it's not a social media platform. <laughs> it can be your All face right. if, you're <laughs> if you're the core of your project. Mm -hmm. Then you also need to tell your story. Mm -hmm. You can tell your story in a video. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's not a must, mm -hmm. but that's the primary contact mm -hmm. people have with your campaign. Mm -hmm. So you need to create a compelling, very brief video mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. your journey and mm -hmm. what you want to do and what you need people to help you. Mm -hmm. Then, like you said, a very well written um, brief of your, of your campaign and mm -hmm. what you want to accomplish. Then rewards. Mm -hmm. It's a reward-based crowdfunding platform. Mm -hmm. So you need to decide what you'll be offering mm -hmm. to your contributors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, you need a minimum so of three. So there has three. to be something, an incentive. Yes. All right. Needs so you to need a minimum incentive. of three. Yes. All right. Up to 10. You can have up to could, 10. It could be like. anything. Also. It could be retail. Uh -huh. It could be recognition. Uh -huh. Or it could be access. So retail uh -huh. is actual merchandise. Mm -hmm. T-shirts. Cavero is selling, is offering... Um, men's shirts, men's shirts, mm -hmm. t-shirts. Yeah, um, it could be that. It could be that if you're producing actual, actual materials, mm -hmm. then it could be recognition, a social media shout out, mm -hmm. a certificate, mm -hmm. um, or access. If you're a musician, you can give uh, tickets to a concert, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So backstage it could be access. Right. So it could be one of those three. You just have to be creative with be it. Be creative. Know uh -huh. your crowd. Know who you're targeting. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to structure that according right. to your your audience. And then after the approval, so... Uh, You're gonna submit uh, that, mm -hmm. we'll receive it, guide you on the same. Mm -hmm. If it checks out, we verify that you're who you say you are mm -hmm. and your project looks legit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you'll be, you'll be live. You'll be live? Yeah. All right, so uh, is that provision to share these links to other social media platforms? Yes. All right. Yes. Once you go live, you get a link that uh -huh. directs people to a page. You have a full page of your campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shareable on all, on all social media. All right. Yeah. Whatever currency is accepted, mm -hmm. any currency mm -hmm. from across the world. Yes, mm -hmm. we do receive payments locally via mm -hmm. M-Pesa. Mm -hmm. uh, there's credit card, there's PayPal. Mm -hmm. So you can receive international contributions. All right. Yeah. What if I want to do them one better? The guys who are going to be giving me money, mm -hmm. I like to give them a stake in the company. What <laughs> happens? So we're working on a new innovation, which would be a revenue share model. Mm -hmm. So rather than giving someone debt, which mm -hmm. they can't pay in the first few months, they're just going to be in a debt cycle. Mm -hmm. Rather than getting equity, which is going to be pushed off into way into the future, mm -hmm. It will work m much more like a, a royalty. Uh -huh. So you'll, the investors who gave you money initially will get mm -hmm. their money back according to your ability to sell the product. Mm -hmm. So that's something we've um, been working on, and we've had a successful case in South Africa um, with a craft gin. Mm -hmm. They managed to raise uh, seventy thousand dollars, so that's mm -hmm. uh, seven million sh shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, to they had a product in the market already. You could buy a thousand bottles, and once they've sold them, they'll give you your money back plus twenty five percent return. Mm -hmm. so, so it is a great a, investment. That is an example. Yes, and that three months it took them to to get that return. All right. So you're working on a model for pe uh, people like us, people who are more <laughs> who are willing to bring mm -hmm. everybody else over. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, so uh, what makes you think uh, the Kenyans? A, a, a story is, is unique, but uh, do you think Kenyans are ready for this? Let me, let me put it that way. Yes, I, I think as I mentioned before, with, mm -hmm. with social media, mm -hmm. with mobile payments, with everything that's happening right now, mm -hmm. uh, I think Kenyans have been ready for a long time. Mm -hmm. They've just been waiting for the platform to be here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I personally believe in the Kenyan creativity to mm -hmm. find a way of how it will work for mm -hmm. them in a unique way. Mm -hmm. Even with M Changa, it wasn't done the same way as international models. We mm -hmm. had to learn the market and adapt it for, mm -hmm. for local needs. Mm -hmm. So we, we plan to do the, the same thing. Right now, you can come in and register, even if you're not quite sure how to do it. Mm -hmm. We provide some level of expertise from our experience mm -hmm. to guide you on how to set up your campaign, how to reach out to people. 
and then over time as we're learning the behavior, mm -hmm. we're answering that question, what's in it for me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. What did you learn in the process of uh, just getting into Thunder Fund, raising the funds, and interacting with the people who are financing you? What did you come up with in the process in terms of knowledge? I, I think for me it was more like people want to know what mm -hmm. you're doing and mm -hmm. how you're going to do it, and they're willing to, to back you up mm -hmm. if, if they, they, they know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So for me it was communication. Mm -hmm. So always keeping tabs of um, this is where we are at, this mm -hmm. is how far we've gone, I'd screenshot even mm -hmm. um, how the, the page of the, um, the campaign to, mm -hmm. to show people that they are, like how, how many backers there are, how much you've been able to mm -hmm. raise. And so keeping con uh, communication open all the time. Right. That's one thing that I, I, I've, I've learned that uh, people will appreciate. People will appreciate yeah. when you make them part of yes. the project. Yeah. All right. What are some of the tips you can give somebody who's getting onto this platform? Uh, I downloaded this app recently. I get tips on how to make my profile <laughs> better and reach more people. Yeah. So what are some of the tips you can give uh, people who are going to be joining Thunder Fund? Because I know uh, uh, we're going to have a bunch. Okay. Uh, one of the best things you can do is just be authentic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. You know your product best. Uh -huh. You know what you have to ho offer. Mm -hmm. So just be yourself. Research shows that people who share their personal stories in the, in the video or in the story on the page, mm -hmm. they get a lot more contributions be because people connect with you. Mm -hmm. People are giving to... So video is better than a writer, number one. You yeah. need both. All right. mm -hmm. But you need to be to share yourself mm -hmm. and be be real. Right. Yeah. So be real, be mm -hmm. authentic. Yeah. That is a tip you can give. What is a That's just one. <laughs> that is one tip <laughs> you can give. One. All right. One mistake a lot of people make. <laughs> <laughs> I like that approach. They, like they that. come in right. expecting free, easy money. Mm -hmm. Crowdfunding is not about that. It's mm -hmm. about bringing your community together mm -hmm. around a project you believe in. Mm -hmm. And to do that well, you need to allow some time to prepare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carol is the exception here because she registered on the same day she went live. <laughs> but <laughs> but she, had doing, she had been doing this for a while. But yeah. she knew her product, uh -huh. she knew herself, she uh -huh. knew her network. Uh -huh. So planning like in advance mm -hmm. is, is really essential. They mm -hmm. say there's a 30% rule. Mm -hmm. Before you go live, you should go to your network and mm -hmm. see if they would give at least 30% of what you want to raise. Mm -hmm. Then once you go live, you can't fail. Mm -hmm. um, just going live and expecting money to come without even telling people or just putting a message on Facebook right, is not so going to work. Plan, prepare the people that you're your first target. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, WhatsApp is probably the biggest platform in Kenya in mm -hmm. terms of giving. So mm -hmm. reach people directly on WhatsApp create awareness through Facebook. Mm -hmm. So keep them updated on Facebook, but ask them to contribute on WhatsApp. It's not as big in other parts of the world? You mean WhatsApp? Everyone's on WhatsApp here. Yeah. Right. It's still big, uh -huh. but here it's like a guaranteed channel that uh -huh. people use. Mm -hmm. There's uh -huh. groups, there's individual chats, it's like commonplace. Right. And then the final thing is after your campaign is to keep people up to date. Mm -hmm. Thank them for their contributions. Make sure you've given them enough that they'll come back for your next campaign. Mm -hmm. So. However successful your first campaign is, your mm -hmm. next one can be two times, five times bigger mm -hmm. as long as you look after your crowd and you foster that over time. Mm -hmm. So you don't come across as someone who's begging for money, you're actually offering them an opportunity to have impact and to be part of your project. Mm -hmm. So it has to be seen as a win-win situation, not a asking right. for money situation. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are very good tips, three good tips right there. Make people part of the journey, yeah? yes. that is one. Uh, be authentic. And a video is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a plus for you. All right, a mistake that most people make is that they go in uh, look at, to look for money, to, to look for easy money, which is not always the case. You need to plan, plan, plan before you do it. All right, so uh, how can they get you guys online um, from the website to the other social media platforms? So registration is just www.thunderfund.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, Thunder with an A, mm -hmm. and we're on, if you search that into Facebook, Instagram, you're, you should find us. Mm -hmm. And then from the campaigns themselves, there's mm -hmm. uh, social media widgets which people are sharing to push it onto other social platforms. Mm -hmm. So when you see someone else sharing, you'll also come to Thunderfund. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, 
How can they find you online? Okay. Uh, the, the, the fashion <laughs> brand in particular. Yeah, they can find me both on mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. at, uh, at Cavero. Mm -hmm. And also on Thunder Fund, um, after the Thunder Fund, then there's a backslash then Cavero. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find my, my project there, my campaign there, and you're welcome to fund the project. What would you tell somebody who's Kenyan and is not buying Kenyan products? <laughs> you should buy Kenyan products. You should buy Kenyan products. <laughs> Ken yeah, <laughs> buy Kenyan products and build Kenya. Buy Kenyan products and build Kenya. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, how can they find you online? <laughs> or oh, you don't have a... Oh, personally? Yeah, personally, if you don't mind. If you'd like to get some more followers. They can find me on Thunderfund. <laughs> they can find you on Thunderfund. <laughs> I like that for sure. <laughs> all, right, all right, your last remarks to, 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 to the viewers as a representative of Thunderfund. You could pass it by. Um... Creatives are a very big part of our economy and <coughs> a big part of Sorry. the solutions that we need. Mm -hmm. So we need to support creatives. Mm -hmm. And if you're a creative, don't feel discouraged. I know it can be, excuse me, can mm -hmm. be tough mm -hmm. with the funding. It's tough for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. keep creativity alive mm -hmm. and you're welcome to join Thunder Fund. All right. Yeah. Uh, as somebody who has traveled, <laughs> or oh, who's, uh, who's, who's a guest here, what can you tell the Kenyans uh, that are watching us right now, especially our crowd is, is predominantly the youth, and uh, the Kenyans who are saying that it's very tough to make it in Kenya right now? I think I'm saying something people already know, uh -huh. but uh, as a guest here, as you say, mm -hmm. I've constantly been surprised by the level of creativity mm -hmm. and the level of hustle mm -hmm. in Kenya. And so, and hustle. Yes, mm -hmm. two things which are really key. Mm -hmm. And Thunderfund is not just about what's happening in Kenya, it's about showing the rest of the world what mm -hmm. exists in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So the more people know there's fashion brands like Carol here, mm -hmm. the more the world will see, oh, Kenya is a great place to come mm -hmm. and a great place to buy things from. So right. we want to build that community locally and internationally. All right. So mm -hmm. for the Kenyan youth, it's believe in yourself, mm -hmm. live out your creativity mm -hmm. and give it a try. Just come to the platform, register, mm -hmm. see what happens. All right, so the creativity is that uh, we need to put it out there. Yeah. That is what you're saying. Thank you very much, guys, for coming through to White in the Morning. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you, and I hope uh, the beneficiaries of Thunder Fund are going to be coming for Entrepreneurship Tuesday. All right, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, Asante Sana, we've come to the end of Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. Tomorrow we have Girls Talk, and tomorrow we are going to be uh, celebrating the queens in the world, so be sure to celebrate with us. Thank you very much very much for tuning in from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. Don't go nowhere. We still have a lot of other programs lined up for you.